Hi. Uh, so two weeks ago I uploaded a video talking about um, how to find an agent to submit a pitch to. Um, and so I had mentioned that my pitch, you can see right now, um, for a graphic novel, a uh, middle grade graphic novel called Magic, um, was under review with a, a editor at a publisher, but um, they decided not to take it. They said um, that the pacing was like too quick and with not enough character development, so um, I'm just gonna keep working on it and refine it and then um, keep pitching it um, using the query tracker uh, list of agents. Um, I'll link, link the uh, query tracker. So I'll go over mine, and this is what I actually submitted. So it is, how many, it's six pages, so it's not that long. Um, but the first page is cover art. So here's the protagonist, Birdie, uh, escaping the wizards that are all trying to, uh, to catch her and kidnap her. So the project overview, so this is page two. I have a brief synopsis. Um, and I shall read it. So it says, For years, Birdie has been living in a cave all alone because her parents told her to. One day, shapeshifting magician Rumpho Skeezer appears to rescue her. Birdie learns that she is a ward, a rare power source for wizards. And with only a few sources of magic left, a few radioactive craters here and there, wizards from all over the wastelands will do whatever it takes to steal Birdie for themselves. Amid the chaos, Birdie looks to Rumpho for guidance. Unfortunately, he's only in it for himself. And just under the synopsis, there's the format, full color, upper, middle grade graphic novel, about 220 pages. Uh, there wasn't really enough space at the bottom to include more text, so I just put in a little character turnaround of the, the main character. Uh, so second page is a, is not a brief synopsis, it's a longer synopsis. So this is kind of goes through like some of the beats of the story. Page three, um, is like the compare, like the comp page. So you have something called comp titles. Other books that are similar to yours, they do recommend, I've, I've heard a tip that um, the books that you should include, ideally they would be graphic novels that have been published in the past like three to five years. I think I even read somewhere it was like three years, so like fairly recent. So I've kind of explained how mine is similar and how mine is different. So each of these stories listed above have a relatable anxious hero which is, that's what's similar with mine, is that anxious hero where they have to use their instinct and self-reliance to conquer the story stakes. And then I just have a little bit more information being like, Birdie, who is a naive and diffident character, is suddenly tasked with finding her way in a dangerous and unpredictable world. With chaos coming from all directions, she must learn to tune it all out and listen to herself. And then kind of similar to the comps, I have inspiration and aspiration. And then the next page is just a little bit about me, author bio. Um, included a picture. I, th I might change that to be like an actual real picture, but for now it's just my little like webtoon avatar. Um, and then, this is the last page, page six, I have an author statement, which is just me talking about why I think the story is important, why I, wa I want to tell it, and then also why it's just important to people other than me. And then a little description of the attached file. So I have Sample art, um, I included 21 pages, the first 21 pages, so it's chapter one and two. Um, and then also I included the full manuscript. Yeah, and then at the end here, again, a little bit of empty space, so I just put in extra character art. Um, so these are some of the bad guys uh, from the story. And they're here. Yeah, and so that's what it looks like. So I hope that was helpful to someone uh, looking to create a pitch packet and wanting examples. Um, there are so many examples online and same thing, I'll just put a couple links in the um, description box of like articles that I use to make mine my pitch packet and also just um, other pitch packets that I saw um, online that I uh, copied to make mine. So yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Um, I'll post more videos within probably again like I think I'll be doing it every Friday, seems to work with my schedule, so I think I'll do um, every Friday or every second Friday, uh, just do an update on how this is going. So yeah, so it's exciting, so good luck um, to you if you're going through this process or thinking about it or already maybe further along in the process that I am. Um, but yeah, if you have questions, <laughs> I don't know if I can answer it, I mean put it down in the comments and I'll, I'll 
we can try and figure it out together. Here's my idea for the next video is I will write the email. So I'll show the updated pitch packet and then I'll also draft the email that I'm sending to the editor and like put out all my attachments and then that way I'm documenting exactly like not only what the pitch with the attachment to, of the email looks like but what the actual body of the email looks like. So yeah all right well I'll see you in about a week or two um, and with uh, with an updated pitch packet. So uh, see you around, see you next time. Bye.